Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Ups Beginner series. You are watching the 7th part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about collection in Power Ups. So now, let's get started. First of all, let me explain you what is collection and how it is useful in our day to day life. A collection is used to store the data. It is a group of items that are similar in pattern. We can store the data in collection in a form of a single record item or a multiple record item or in a form of table. Right? Now in this session I am going to explain you this thing practically. So let me move over to my power apps and first of all let me add one text box over there and we will store that information inside the collection. Now let me place two text boxes over here. So let's say one is for employee name and second one is for employee salary. Right? Now what I want to do here is let me just add the hint text over here. Let me just remove the default value and let me just add as employee name. And this is the salary. Let me remove this default over here. Now let me just place one button here. So I am adding one button. Now what I want to do here is I want to add this record inside the collection. First of all select the button and select on select event of the button. Now to store the value inside the collection we need to use collect function. So let me use collect. Now what I want to do here is just provide the name of the collection. The collection name is employee here. Now I want to store that item as a record. For that just make the curly braces like this. Now employee name the name the first item is employee name that I want to store and then what I want to do here is I just wanted to pass its value. The employee name will be getting from this particular text box that is text input 5 dot text. So just use text input 5 dot text and then press comma and now I want to store salary. So let's store salary as text input 6 dot text right now what I want to do here is just close the bracket now hit enter now let me just format this code here so the syntax is looking like this collection name and its value now let's run our code and check the value let me enter the name as Thruvin and salary as 5000 and let me click on button so one row has been added inside the collection. Now let's check what we are getting inside the collection. For that go to view and click on collection. So here you can see that collection name and you can see that collection with employee name and salary has been created and inside that we have one record. Now let's say if I add some another record like Anisha and let's add its value as 4000 and let me click on button so what will happen here is it will append the second record inside the collection to check go to file and go to collection and here you can see that second record has been added right so this is how we can store the value inside the collection right now I want to show this collection value to the end user so how can I do that let me explain you. For that just take any gallery. Let me place this gallery over here. And now what I want to do here is let's say for an example this is my let's provide our collection as a data source here. So go to the data source and select the employee collection. So it is showing like this. Now what if I want to remove some value from the collection. Let me use a function remove inside that we need to pass the collection name and we need to provide the item 
so selected item I want to remove so just use this item right now let me show you that thing so let's say I want to remove this one right so click on that so it will remove that one and similar way we can check the value from the collection as well go to the collection and you can see the single record here right so this is how we can remove the item from the collection now what if I want to clear the entire collection right for that we just need to use clear function so let's say I'm using this one and let's say what I want to do here is I just wanted to clear out my collection values just use clear function and inside that we need to provide the name of the collection so that will clear my collection right so now let me execute this one and you can see that that has been removed now let me add some another records again I am adding one record I am adding another record right now let me talk about one more function that is clear collect now sometimes we have a requirement like let's say for an example on this particular screen at this moment we have defined this employee collection which has two different values over there now I want to have a functionality like whenever I press on button each time this employee value the employees collection should be cleared and after that it should add the other items right so how can I achieve that requirement for that we need to use clear collect function clear collect will first clear the collection and then add the value inside the collection now let's use the same pattern over here so let's use clear collect function and use the same collection over there now first of all I want to clear my employee collection and then I want to add the items over here right now let's say I want to add the item and Let me just format this code so you can see that inside the clear collect I am first removing my existing items and on top of that I am adding two new items right now let me show you that thing in detail so I am clicking on here and you can see that I am able to see only these two records because I use clear collect which will clear the existing item first and on top of that it will add the new items right so that is how clear collect will work inside the power apps right now this is all about the items now what if I want to store the table inside the collection right now let's say for an example at this moment this employee is now at this moment in employee collection we are storing these two values over here right but I want to store that value as table so how can I do that right in order to do that let's do one thing before the items just use a table function right and in table we are providing these two records over here right and let me just rename that collection as collection employee one and now let me just click on button and let's check the value so go to the collection and select employee one so it has the similar structure like above one right but this is stored in a table format now let's say for an example I have added my record into this table and I want to add that table as one of the item record so how can I do that for that let's do one thing let's add one curly braces and this is the employee header right and inside that we are storing that table and let's complete this curly braces now let me just change this collection name as employee 2 and let me just hit enter but before I do that let me just format my text so it will look like this this is one record item and in record item I am storing the table right now let's say I am clicking on that and let's check the collection value go to the collections employee 2 and you can see that this is the table right this is the record and in record I have this table structure 
So this is how we can store the table as a record item. Now let's summarize everything. So basically to store the value inside the collection we have used the collect function. If, I, if you are using the clear collect which meaning that it clears the collection first and then add the value inside the collection. If you want to remove the item from the collection just use the remove function. If you want to clear the collection just use the clear function and let's say if you want to store the table inside the collection use the table function. If you want to store table as a record item just define your item and then just pass the table that you have created inside that and you will be having table inside the collection with the records. So hope this is clear for you now. If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.